Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limble's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about using QR codes in Limble. QR codes are one of the most loved features in Limble because they allow you to quickly access lots of important information. In Limble, you can create QR codes for work request portals, assets, parts, PMs, and work order templates. This video will walk you through where to find QR codes, how to print them, and how to use them. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limble, some of your screens and access to QR codes may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team or talk to your Limble CSM. Let's get started. First, let's talk about QR codes for work request portals. One of the most common uses for QR codes is submitting work requests, which can be done by anyone with access to the QR code, even if they don't have an account with Limble. Go to the work request page from the navigation menu. Each location on your account will have its own unique work request portal, as well as a global portal that aggregates all work requests into one place. Click on the QR code icon next to your desired location. In the new pop-up, you'll see the QR code and an option to download or print. You have the option to download the QR code image for use later or to print it right from Limble. If you print directly from Limble, the zoom level allows you to make the QR code smaller or larger. Generally, we recommend that QR codes are at least one inch in size for ease of use. Once you print your QR code, you can post it anywhere you want members of your organization to see it. When they scan the QR code, they'll be taken to the work request portal for that location to submit a work request. Work requests can also be submitted directly for a specific asset through a QR code which we'll cover in just a bit. Let's take a look at asset QR codes. Navigate to the Manage Assets page and select an asset. In the asset card, click on the QR code icon. The QR codes will show in the new window. By default, the QR code and label will show the asset name. Assets have two different QR code options, one to submit a work request and the other to look up an asset. Using the Submit a Work Request QR code will send you to the Work Request Portal and automatically associate your work request with the asset. This is great so that requesters don't have to spend time looking for or selecting the right asset in places with a lot of similar assets. Think of a place like a bathroom in a large stadium or HVAC units in a university dormitory. The Lookup Asset QR code will pull up the asset card. This is great for quick access to asset information such as associated vendors and parts, tool check-in and check-out, and looking up important documents and manuals on the go. The zoom level allows you to change the size of the QR code. You can print QR codes for multiple assets by clicking Show More Than One Assets QR Codes. In the new window, select all the QR codes you want to print, then hit Select. You have several printing options. If you need to customize your QR codes outside of Limble, you can use the asset URLs to do this. Click download the URLs slash info to get the links for your assets. This allows you to generate QR codes in other software to get customized QR codes, and if necessary, print on specialty materials. We'll talk more about labels and customization in a bit. You can choose to do this for the assets you selected or your location's entire asset library from the drop-down menu. Download images will export the QR codes of the assets you selected. Last is print options. From the dropdown, selecting print will print all of your QR codes as is. Customize print allows you to make changes to your print and create print templates for future use. QR codes are a great tool to manage your part inventory and look up or add parts to a task. For inventory management, gaining access to the part card allows you to update part quantities, create purchase orders, and update threshold counts. When the QR code is scanned, it will take you to the part card to view information like vendor contact info, important documentation, and associated assets. Navigate to the Manage Parts page and select a part. In the part card, click on the QR code icon. The QR code will show in the new window. By default, the QR code and label will show the part name, number, location, and associated vendors. The zoom level allows you to change the size of the QR code. You can print QR codes for multiple parts by clicking Show More Than One Parts QR Codes. In the new window, select all the QR codes you want to print, then hit Select. 
you have several printing options. Click download the URL slash info to get the links for your parts. You can choose to do this for the parts you selected or your location's entire part inventory from the drop-down menu. As we discussed earlier, this allows you to generate codes in other software to get customized QR codes and, if necessary, print on specialty materials. Download images will export the QR codes of the parts you selected. And the final button is Print Options. From here, selecting Print will print all of your QR codes as is. Selecting Customize Print allows you to make changes to your print, and you can even create templates to use over and over. We cover custom printing in another video. Let's switch gears to look at tasks, starting with PMs. PMs have two QR code options, one to start a task and another to enable or disable the PM schedule. When a user scans the Start Task QR code, Limble will check to see if the task is already open and in progress. If it's already open, scanning the QR code will automatically take the user to the task. If the task is not open, scanning the QR code will open a new task and the user can begin work on it right away. When a user scans the Enable or Disable PM schedule, they will automatically be taking action on the PM. If the schedule is enabled, scanning the QR code will turn off the schedule and the PMs will no longer generate. If the schedule is disabled, scanning the QR code will turn on the schedule and the PMs will begin to generate again. Navigate to the PMs page. Under the Options column, select the QR code icon for the desired PM. The zoom level allows you to change the size of the QR code. By default, the Start Task QR code is shown. This can be changed by clicking Change Type and selecting Enable or Disable PM Schedule from the dropdown. You can print QR codes for multiple PMs by clicking Bulk Actions and selecting Show More Than One Template's QR Codes from the dropdown. In the new window, select all the QR codes you want to print, then hit Select. You have several printing options. Click Download the URL slash info to get the links for your PMs. Download images will export the QR codes of the PMs you selected. Last is Print Options. From the dropdown, selecting Print will print all of your QR codes as is. Customize Print allows you to make changes to your print and create print templates for future use. Let's wrap up tasks and talk about QR codes for work order templates. Creating QR codes for work order templates is useful so you can quickly start a procedure, such as a lockout tagout or a confined space permit. Navigate to the Manage Work page. Click Start Work Order. Select Don't Assign to an Asset and then hit Select. From the Setup Work Order screen, click on Work Order Templates. Select the QR code icon for the desired work order template. You can print QR codes for multiple work order templates by clicking Bulk Actions and selecting Show More Than One Template's QR codes from the dropdown. In the new window, select all the QR codes you want to print, then hit Select. You have several printing options. Click Download the URL slash info to get the links for your work orders. Download images will export the QR codes of the work orders you selected. Last is Print Options. From the dropdown, selecting Print will print all of your QR codes as is. Customize Print allows you to make changes to your print and create print templates for future use. We often get asked if our QR codes and labels require special paper, printers, or software to be made. The good news is that for the majority of our customers, no specialized printers or software are required. In most instances, the only materials you will need to purchase for printing labels are high quality, durable grade labels. We recommend Avery's durable grade labels, but you should refer to their site to compare each label type's durability against the needs of your organization. For the majority of uses, Labels can be printed directly within Limble and do not require additional software. You would only need to use software, such as Avery's free label customization software, if your labels require brand or design-related customization, such as logos or photos, custom fonts or colors, or if you need to print on specialty materials. In highly corrosive or harsh environments where durable grade labels will not withstand conditions, some customers opt to print their labels on metal labels, which can be done through CAM code. You can learn more by checking out our resources about printing options in Limble's Help Center. Thanks so much for watching.
We have a ton of additional resources about printing QR codes and labels in our Help Center, so make sure to check it out. If you still have questions, reach out to our support team or talk to your Limble CSM.